Let me ask you this. I want to I want to <laughs> elaborate on something you said. You said I used to be a drug addict, right? Mm -hmm. Now, being a former artist and being around a bunch of, of rappers and entertainers, I understood that a lot of artists didn't feel themselves, didn't feel confident, wasn't even able to perform until they had the drugs in them. They felt like in their mind, they wasn't who they were until the drugs was in them in the studio. What made you feel different to be like, no, nah, I'm gonna back up off and I'm gonna, you know, what go through whatever processes I gotta go through to get off of what I'm on. And I don't need that shit to still be MGK. <clears throat> Well, it started with my daughter saying, Dad, you know I can tell when you're high. Damn. It broke my heart. I was like the ultimate letdown. How old was she at the time? 11, 12. Oof. She's 15 now. It took me a while afterwards because obviously, you know, like dr dr yeah. drugs have a, a vice mm -hmm. grip on you. Absolutely. I got to say it, but... Some of my favorite rappers definitely rapped their best while they was on drugs. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got MGK on Million Dollars Earth, a game with Gilly the Kid and Wallow. And yeah, I gotta say, some of my favorite rappers from Lil Wayne to DMX and definitely Eminem was definitely rapping their ass off when they had some type of addiction. And then second off, I think I just became a real unpleasant person to be around for all my friends, right? Like, I, I was a, I was the only child, so the family I had was these guys. And I think like when I began to like run away, or run people away from me because, man, you become flippant, bro. Like the, when the drugs, when the when the drugs got you, it's like, if you aren't that person, you're, you're an ass until you go meet up with those demons and then those demons make you calm back down. But that that's a demon in and of itself that you can't even be awake or alive, bro, like, until you're, you're that. I mean, like, that was, even, even when, when me and- Hold up, somebody was smoking some Cleveland yeah, Reggie. But yeah, I definitely can't be around nobody that, you know, is moody and was based off of whatever substance they're on at the time. You know, I'm just at a point in my life now where I definitely ain't dealing with nobody that, you know, has any type of alcohol or drug addiction. It definitely, if it alters their personality. In this case, you know, I do understand that if you have a friend from day one, you want to be there for him, you want to help him. If he has the potential to do more with his life than to each his own. But, you know, most times when people have an addiction like that, good chance they might just be fuck ups and you know everybody deserves a second chance but you know that second chance just isn't with me you know what i mean and i mean with me as far as being their friend and guiding them through and having the patience to deal with them during their temper tantrums and all that but let me know in the comments if y'all have ever dealt with anything similar and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe